Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today we'll be painting Robin from Batman the Animated Series Adventures Shadow of the Bat. As with the other figures in this series, I'll be going for a look that mimics the style of the cartoon. I've already prepped and primed a miniature in white, so let's get started. I'm starting with a skin tone by mixing Kislev flesh and Moonray flesh and applying it to all the exposed areas of skin, which are the face and arms. Now it's time to get comfortable because we're going to be painting yellow. Lots and lots of yellow. I'm starting off here with a coat of Averland Sunset to use as an undercoat for the rest of the yellow. This will go on the inside of Robin's cape, on the utility belt, and on the front rectangles of his costume. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that yellow is my least favorite color to paint because it covers extremely poorly and it clumps up in the recesses and just does not act the way you want paint to act. With the undercoat down, we're going to apply Marduk Yellow to get the tone that we actually want. This will just be applied everywhere we applied the Averland Sunset. I lost track of how many coats I had to paint here, but I would not be joking if it was at least 10. I wasn't exactly sure where the yellow was going to stop and the back of the cape, which is black, would start. So I made sure to cover the edges in yellow so that I didn't have to do any touch-ups on top of black later. After our 47th coat of yellow, we'll now be moving on to the red. I'm using Vallejo Model Color Scarlet to paint the red parts of the costume. I wasn't paying attention, I started painting his sleeve, which actually should be green, so don't do that. Try to take extra care anywhere you're butting up against the yellow because touching up that yellow is not gonna be a fun process. If you are unfortunate enough to get some red on top of the yellow, then go back to the Averland Sunset, put another base coat down, and then build up your Marduk yellow on top again. Here I finished his shirt, and then after returning to the artwork, I realized his little underpants area needs to be red as well. For the green parts of the model, I'm using Vallejo Model Color Light Green. This will cover the gloves, the legs, and the sleeves, but not the boots. We'll be using a darker green for the boots.
Now we'll paint the boots with some merm green from Scale Color. And finally, we'll paint all the black areas, starting with the back of his cape. When you reach the edge of the cape where it meets the yellow, just try to get a nice sharp line defining those two colors. Here I'm using the edge of the brush to help guide and define that transition point between the yellow and the black. We'll also be applying some of the black around the cape where it drapes over the shoulders but we're still going to show the yellow around the edges. Just use the artwork from the game or something from the animated series as a guideline. We'll also be painting his hair with black. We'll also use black to paint the mask. I then went in and filled in the eyes with pure white, but I think I lost that footage. That wraps up the base colors. Now we'll add some dark lining, just as we did on the other miniatures in this series. Mix up some flow enhancer with some black paint. Make sure you use a paper towel and get off any excess. And draw in the lines anywhere you have a separation between different parts of the miniature. This can also be used to emphasize any details like the shape of the ears and the mouth. Here I'm drawing lines between all the fingers to give them some separation. Again, be as careful as possible around the yellow. You don't want to have to touch that up, especially on top of black. Here I'm just filling in some of the deep recesses on the folds of the fabric on the arms. Once the dark lining is complete, I'm going to paint the base, and just as I did with the other miniatures, I'm using the faction of the character to determine the color of the base. With Robin also being part of the Bat family, we're going to be using Averland Sunset for this. Here I'm going back in after the yellow is dry, and drawing in the dark lines around the feet.
And now to wrap everything up, I'm painting the rim of the base in pure black to give the miniature a finished look. And here's the completed Robin. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. To get a sneak peek of what I might be working on next, I sometimes post in progress works on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So follow me there. And until next time, happy painting.